Welcome to NAV classes. Today we are going to discuss CBSE UGC NET question paper for January 2017. We already discussed first to 10 questions in our previous lecture and you, we know Sunday is dedicated to UGC people. So please subscribe and ring the bell with subscribe button so that you all will get all lectures in your email ID as in when I upload them. Let's start with today's tutorial. Uh, we are considering question number 11 as per paper Z. Which of the following national hazard is not hydrometeorological? What is hydrometeorological for this? Hydro is related to the water and meteorological is related to atmosphere. I have written some notes here for this. So, hydrometeorological is the phenomenon of atmosphere, hydrological, oceanographic nature. Example of this are flood, tropical cyclone, drought, desertification. Due to global climate change, these hazards are expected to rise. So these are all of sudden hazards which are expected to rise because of climate change, atmosphere and water. So, so our example of uh, hydrometeorological are according to our uh, course, snow avalanche, yes. Tropical cyclone, yes. Tsunami, yes. But sea erosion is not the example of hydrometeorological. Let's consider this. What is sea erosion? Sea erosion is physical process by which shoreline in coastal areas around the world shift and change, primarily in response to wave and current that can be influenced by tide, storm, surge. Coast we can call this coastal erosion also it result from the long term process it's not just all of sudden because of the climate change so sea erosion's example can be cyclones tsunami as well beach evolution as well so here the correct answer should be second sea erosion which is which is not the example of hydrometeorological so instead of holding office during the pleasure of president who among the following hold the office during good behavior who is going to hold the office of president during the good behavior? Uh, this the answer should be judges of high court or supreme court can uh, hold office. So go governor of state is not correct answer. Attorney of attorney general of India is not correct answer. Administrator of union title is not correct answer. So answer should be C. So here according to the courts second c only is the answer second 13th question asks the purpose of value education is best served by focusing on what is the value education i already discussed in my previous lectures so cultural practices prevailing in society no value education is not related to any culture any social group or any religious or moral practices instructions so it concerns with human values we are going to consider human values more and we are willing to enhance human value values because of allocation so value allocation is best served by human value so third is correct answer 14th question asks which of the following statement are correct Rajya Sabha is permanent house yes Rajya Sabha is permanent house which can be dissolved only during national emergency no Rajya Sabha cannot be dissolved at all so A is wrong here Rajya Sabha does not represent local interest of states it's correct because it does not uh, represent the local interest of states uh, C says member of Rajya Sabha are not bound to vote at dictation states of state by represents uh, they represents so it is also correct because Rajya Sabha's member are not required or bound to vote in the respective states from where they are representing so this is also correct no union territory has representative in Rajya Sabha it says in Rajya Sabha no union territory has representative wherever in reality union territories are four like delhi kolkata mumbai and chennai so these all have representation in rajya sabha so it this is wrong so what are the correct ones b and c let's see according to the code b and c second is correct answer second is correct answer question ask which of the following are not necessarily the immediate consequence of proclamation of president ruling state whenever president rules 
work a common existence which of following are not necessarily immediate consequence which is not required to do immediately at that time so we are going to consider that uh, state minister in states can be dissolved but it is not the correct so it is not immediate consequence because state minister in states can be dissolute or suspended so this is not the immediate consequence b says removal of council of minister in state so this can be the immediate consequence they can remove council of minister in states immediately after president rules uh, third third c says take over of state administration by union government yes state administration can be take over by union governments so this is this can be immediate consequent d says appointment of new chief secretary it is not required to appoint new chief secretary immediately after the president's rule in state so d and a are not immediate consequences a and d according to our codes a and d falls under first one so first is correct answer in which teaching method learners participation is made optimal and proactive so in discussion method learners participation is yes proactive because they are active well before then as as and when they are able to know about the topic on which they are going to discuss uh, so they start preparing themselves since that point so in this man in this method learners participation is made optimal and proactive so first is correct bus session method brainstorming session method project method are not correct so f- the most powerful factor affecting teaching effectiveness is related to c effectiveness of teaching is related to which system it relating to education system as a whole so four should be the correct answer without going to another options okay question is on assertion and reasoning so assertion says formative evaluation tend to accelerate the pace of learning yes formative evaluation accelerates the pace of learning it increases the pace of learning in good manner reason says as against summative evaluation formative evaluation is highly reliable but this reason is absolutely wrong because you know it says formative evaluation is reliable but in reality summative evaluation is more reliable than formative evaluation because under summative evaluation we consider lots of test and summative evaluation lots of criteria are taken care of and lots of tests are done to to correct conclusions so if the reason itself is wrong it cannot explain assertion so our answer should be a is true but r is false third is correct answer 19 says which of the following set of statement represent acceptable proposition in respect of teaching learning relationship what is acceptable for teaching and learning relationship when student fail in test it is the teacher who fails it is absolutely right because when student fails teacher itself fails okay second is every teaching must aim at ensuring learning yes it's true if anybody is teaching then in learning must be there the aim should be to make learners learn whatever is taught to them third is there can be teaching without learning take place so it is acceptable if the teacher is teaching to their student but the students are not able to learn it so this is acceptable this can happen fourth is there can no learning without teaching but this is not correct this is not acceptable because student can learn themselves also with the if even if nobody is going to teach them so this is wrong fifth is a teacher teaches but learns also this is correct and acceptable highly acceptable because when teacher is teaching something at the same time the teacher is learning more and more so teacher is learning also so this is correct and sixth is uh, real teaching implies rote learning 
no it's not correct so uh, what are acceptables first second third and fifth so according to codes second is correct answer next assertion says learning is lifelong process yes it is lifelong process reason says learning is to be useful must be linked with life processes yes it is also correct it should be linked with life processes but it is not explaining the assertion so this is not correct reason for the assertion so answer should be both a and r are true but r is not correct explanation of a second is correct answer 21th question asks effectiveness of teaching has to be judged in term of uh, course coverage whatever is covered in the course no i already discussed these all things in my previous lectures must watch them students interest what is the interest of students it's not correct Le learning outcome of the student whatever students learn and their outcome in form of their exams and test yes it is correct use of teaching aid in the classroom whatever the aids teacher is using so the teaching cannot be judged in this term so correct answer should be third learning outcome of students question is for uh, matching the first set is for uh, research methods i already discussed all research methods in my previous lectures you must go through them and second set is data collection tools which type of data collection tools are being used for them uh, experimental method so sources used using standardized test so a should be matched with third third b is exposed factor method is you is using typical characteristics so b should be matched with fourth then c is descriptive service in descriptive service we are going to provide some question answers and all for for this it is going to match with second and historical method test historical in historical method we take primary data and secondary data so it should be matched with first so our code should be a4 third b4 fourth and then second first so third fourth second first according to code are uh, second second code is correct here 23rd question asks for research ethic Re the issue of research ethics may be considered pertinent at which stage of uh, research at which stage of research research ethic is very important and pertinent so it is at the end when finding we are providing a finding so it should be at the stage of reporting the finding these all things i covered in previous lectures please go through them fourth question asks which of the following reporting format is formally prescribed we are talking about formally prescribed format so under phd doctoral level thesis when we are providing our thesis to our higher authorities for example in phd thesis so this is formally prescribed yes conference of researchers workshop and seminar symposia in this also reporting format is prescribed but this is not that highly formal as compared to doctoral level thesis so first is the correct answer 25th as the principal of school this is example given principal of school conduct an interview session for teachers and student the view of principal behind it is to explore the possibility of their enhanced participation in school programs this is the example of which research i already discussed about all types of research so watch those tutorials uh, here the answer should be action research intention of principal behind this research is to know the action of their participants teachers and students whether their action action is whether they enhance their participation in school programs or not so action research third is correct answer question is doing action research what is the usual sequence of steps what is the steps for action research i already discussed about all research this is very important question you should know about steps of all type of research so 
this should be firstly we plan what on which we are going to dis, uh, do the research then we reflect our plans then we observe what uh, observe and at the end we are going to come on the act the action what what is the outcome of that so action research third is correct answer plan reflect and observe and act third is correct answer so next question ask which sequence of research step is logical in list given below which is logical so if we ask for the logical then first of all we should formulate our problem or the topic on which we are going to do the research then we are going to make hypothesis hypothesis a and b etc development of research design we are going to collect the data then we are going to analyze that data formulate generalizations and all and then we are going to conclude the solution or uh, in term of thesis and all so our answer should be third question are based on the passage i want to consider passage in separate lectures because there are six questions from the passage then only we are going to discuss rest of the questions in our next lecture so keep watching now classes for regular lectures related to all commerce lectures and cbse ugc net every sunday must subscribe if you didn't yet and ring the bell with subscribe button so that as and when i upload new lecture you will get notification in your email id ask your friends to come and join so that we all will learn in groups if you have any doubt and query please ask here under comment section thank you